Go, Grandma. And, Mark, you'll be getting uh, a lot of, I guess, people wanting to sample this because salmon and bourbon sounds incredible. I know, I know. I've been inspired. We've got an American guy with a suit in the cafe today, so I've, I've made the, created this fantastic dish for him. It's a bit of salmon with some bourbon, so hopefully he likes bourbon. Beautiful. <laughs> That's the American part of it. The rest of it's Asian. We're going to make a beautiful glaze with the bourbon, soy, some uh, spring onions, some lime, and some sugar as well, that's going to marinate. We're going to caramelise that off in the pan and we're going to make some fried rice. It's really simple. All you need to do with fried rice is cook the rice first, spread it out on a tray, chill it down, and then it's ready to fry. Right, over to you, Mel. We are back in the cafe kitchen. What a show we are having today. Rick Hoffman is coming up very soon. But right now, we need to get marinating some salmon. Salmon and bourbon. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful. Great mm. combination. And we've got soy in there as well. Right, so we've got our salmon. So we've yep. got nice salmon steaks there. So just check all the bones are out. So there's no bones in this. We've taken the skin off and we're just going to marinate it. Leave it into, like, leave it in a big slice if you want or just for ease of cooking, I'm just going to cut them in half. Nice. So just marinate a couple. Right, so we'll get those in there. Right, so we're going to marinate it. Yep. So I've got a little bit of garlic, which I've just okay. chopped. Oh, that goes on there. You can grate some ginger in. Okay, cool. So just on a nice fine um, that one uh, side of that. Okay. So that just goes in, goes straight over the salmon. Okay, cool. Got a little bit of brown sugar as well. Yum. So just give that a little break up. So that'll give it a little bit of sweetness as well, and that's going to help glaze the salmon when we reduce, reduce the sauce down. Nice. How's your restaurant going anyway, by the way? Yeah, no, really good. Really busy. Valentine's yeah. Day. Crazy. Nice. It's not, a, it's not a romantic day of the week for you me. You know, if you ever get... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no, because you're always working, aren't you? Cooking yeah. for everybody else. Your wife must hate that. If you ever get short, give me a call, because, you know, I'm... I feel like I'm, <laughs> I feel okay. like I'm up to the challenge now. I think, uh, yeah, I think Sundays maybe. Okay, no, okay, I'm up for it. Yeah, I'll come in, have a look. Right, soy sauce goes in there, yeah, and then of course the bourbon. You know, yeah. I mean, if you don't like bourbon, you can put you can put rum in there, be really nice, or just leave it out. You know, if you don't want to put any alcohol, in, just leave it out. Even a little bit of honey might be quite nice as well. Okay. Right, and then so just uh, just sort of stir Mix it, it around. Yeah, yeah. Make, make sure you get all your flavours in. Um, you know, all your flavours are mixed in, your mm. sugars dissolve, and then just keep sort of flipping it over, put it in the fridge, let it marinate. You know, again, with marinating, you know, give it as long as you can, you know? But there's a lot of flavour in there, so it shouldn't take too long. I've never used bourbon as a marinade, so this is a first. This is really, really exciting, actually. The recipe at thecafe.co.nz, by the way. Right, and then we're going to get um, some uh, sesame seeds. We're yep. just going to toast, toast them in a dry pan. So just keep flipping them around, get them nice and golden. OK. Oh, I can smell them straight yeah, away. And then, uh, and then we're going to tip them out, and then that's going to be a garnish after. Toasting them nice. just brings out all the flavour, makes them really nice. Oh, yes. A little bit that. of lime juice as well which just goes into the salmon. Cool. All right, and then that's pretty much ready to cook. Right, and then we've got to go do some fried rice, OK? Fried rice. OK, cool. So are you listening before about the fried rice? Yeah. <laughs> So what do, we, what, what do we have to do with the rice? We have to cook it first and then try it out on a pan like this in front of us. Exactly. Yeah, good, good listening. <laughs> yeah, so that's what, we've, that's what we've done here, right? Okay, So cool. we've cooked it, spread it out, pop it in the fridge, let it chill, and then you're left with this dried rice. Beautiful, that's good. You reckon so you, done? Yep, nice take them out. brown. Yep. Cool. That's going to be for our garnish later. Right, and what, uh, what do you like in your fried rice? Oh, I like a bit of egg. Yeah. I, like, um, I like a bit of onion. Um, I like a bit of spring onion, <laughs> <laughs> a bit of carrot. <laughs> I, like, I don't like peas though. I don't, don't like peas, peas in this fried rice. Unless they're minted peas. Minted? No, we've no? got just okay. normal peas in there. <laughs> just right, peas. so we're gonna make a little loglet uh, omelet. Yeah, so a little fried rice. So just get some eggs, just whip them up. I've got a little bit of soy sauce in there I as well. I was just gonna say, why's it gone on funny colour? <laughs> yeah. No, a little bit of soy sauce just right. helps season it, and then just do it with a little bit of oil. Yep. You good at making omelettes? Um, yeah, I'm reasonable. There you go. All yours. OK, cool. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> so, so pop it in. pop it in. Yeah. That's it. Keep, get the egg, keep stirring the egg so it doesn't set in one place and colour. Okay. OK, and then when it's nearly set, stop stirring. Yep. A little bit more. Yeah, yep. that's it, right. Yep. Spread it out so it's nice and even, and yep. then stop, stop breaking it up <laughs> so it sets in one, and then we can just roll it up. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, it's yeah, good, awesome it's really good, actually. Right, and then we're just... Um, we're going to do, like, a little brumoise or a little fine dice of uh, carrot, carrot as well, so that's yep. going to go into our fried rice. OK. So, just going to dice that up, and then I'm going to start cooking that first, because, obviously, the carrot's going to take the longest to cook. Yep. You know, we still want some texture, but it will... You know, we need to get it in for a couple of minutes just to soften slightly, so... I'm really excited about this. In there, so use the wok. 
So we have some of the most beautiful salmon in the world right here at our back doorstep. And I tell you what, keep an eye out at the supermarket because sometimes you can get it at such incredible prices. Get nice, fresh New Zealand salmon. The rest of the world is crying out for salmon. There you go. Oh, I didn't burn it. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't make it that well so you can roll it, but at least you can still chop it up. No, yeah, there you go. So you just, uh, so you made the omelette. Yeah. So we know it's cooked, and then we're just going to chop it up, and well, then that... last minute through the rice. Oh, brilliant. Now look at that. Okay, cool. So it's all starting to take shape. All right, let's keep that on the heat so it starts to soften. And then give it another minute or so, and then we can put our rice in. And it's all about cooking it on a high heat. Yeah. You know, so keep the heat up high, keep it nice and moist, and you stir fry in it. You know, you want to break all this like rice up and it's all fluffy. We're going to finish it with a little bit of soy sauce and peas after. Fantastic. The smells are incredible right now. We'll come back with more of Mark's top tips just after we catch up with Holly. So, Mark, I've got the carrots do gone. Um, yep, the so egg's done and now this rice. I'm just yep, breaking so it up. Pop the rice in. Pop yep. the rice in. OK, cool. That's it. And so you want to keep the high heat and you want to keep moving it. So we're stir frying it. OK, cool. So all that's in. Yeah, so that's good. It. So keep doing that. And then as you're stirring it around and cooking the rice, you want to be breaking it up as well. So right. sort of making it sort of individual grains. Now, for those that just joined us, just in case you've been, where have you been our entire lives? What are we making today? <laughs> Right, so we've got salmon, yep. we've got a bourbon glaze, so we've marinated it here and then that's going to act as a glaze as well. When we fry it after, it's going to like glaze it up, it's going to be great. We're making some fried rice as well, with some carrots, some rice, some eggs as well. Yeah. And some peas, Mike's favourite ingredient. I sure don't mind, anything that you put peas into, Mark, I can eat. That's it always it's like... is pretty good, so... So you got to keep breaking this rice up because it yeah, does... Yeah, so keep breaking it, keep tossing keep it, keep it. stirring it. OK. That's it. And you can see it's sort of starting to break down a bit more. Yeah. You've been practising at that. I you? have actually at home, <laughs> yeah. Trying to impress the other half. <laughs> well, we'll pop some peas in there. So, last minute, you just want to warm these peas up. I'm just going to pop a little bit of spring onion in there as well. Oh, nice. How did you learn all this, Mark? Well, I mean, I know you went to, you know, obviously chef school, and but when you come up with new recipes like this, do you take it from other people, or do you just come up with experimenting yourself? I never would have oh, thought I... to put bourbon with salmon. Well, I think it's just uh, it's just trying different things, really. Because I mean, you know, once you've been chefing for sort of 20 years or so, mm. it's uh, you know you've tried quite a lot of things, so it's always a good idea to. You know, it's always nice to try new flavours and things and, you know, push the boat out a bit, you know. And is that, is, that, is that the holy grail of being a chef, coming up with something totally unique that no-one else has done before? Yeah, but it's like reinventing the wheel, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's tough, It's, hey? <laughs> it's no. very tough. Well, that's all right. We get to experience it, not only at a restaurant, but here at the cafe, all your fine flavours. And you can too, actually. Just go to thecafe.co.nz if you want any of the recipes. And little videos, too, that help you explain the process. Yeah, this is breaking up nicely. There you go. So it's starting to break up now. Spring onions in there. The um, peas are in there. Just going to finish it. A little bit of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. You want to pop this in right at the end. Give it a nice toss. That just colours the rice. You can turn the heat off. Give it a little taste so you make sure you're happy with it. Yep. Looking and good. then that's pretty much good to go. Oh yeah. Got nearly forgot the omelette then. A little bit of mm. egg in there as well. Mm, that's really good. There you go. I like the rice texture. Right, you can see, got our pan here, got the salmon in there, and you can see we're cooking it. See all the sugar in there? Mm. So the, the sugar in the bourbon as well, and the brown sugar, so it caramelises quite it. fast. OK, well, we want that. We want that nice colour on there. I'm going to do it on the other side as well, get a little bit of colour. And then you can see all this marinade we've got here. It's full of flavour. I'm going to pop smells, that in as well. Smells insane. And that's going to reduce down around the uh, salmon and it's going to glaze it. And you want to serve the salmon nice and pink. You don't want overcooked salmon. Well, how pleased will you be if you manage to pull this dish off at home? And that's what we like to do here. Restaurant quality that you can do at your own home. I'd be so proud to serve this up. Mm, smell that. You can smell the bourbon in there. Mmm. Yum. Yeah, so use your spoon to dish a bit over the old salmon. Yeah. So you're just flavor. basting it, and you can see it as it's reducing down. Now it's getting thicker and thicker. You just check by just getting your spoon over and you're spooning it over. But the key thing is here is don't over reduce it, otherwise it'll okay. get really bitter. Okay. There you go. That looks insane. So when you say over reduce it, how do you know when you're not over reducing it? You, <laughs> you can have... see it's getting really thick now. So when it starts getting sticky and not moving around, yeah. you know you've over reduced it. Well, yeah, it's just going to like clump Dry into out. one bit. Okay. 
You know, you want a nice glaze so it goes over and it makes it nice so and shiny. It falls over the salmon. Yeah. Right. And then if it does get a little bit too thick, you know, you can just put a splash of water in there and Back it just loosens and... it all. <laughs> but that's what you want. You've got a nice sticky, uh, crusty bit on the outside of the salmon. It's nice and picky in the middle and we've got this beautiful, tasty, textured fried rice. I know, look at that fantastic colour. <laughs> Those carrots and the peas mix well with that actually. Looking fantastic. And that salmon is smelling divine. Tell you what we'll do, uh, we'll let you finish this off. We'll come back and see the finished up dish very soon. OK, Mark, we're starving. So how's that salmon going? It's, it's good, it's great. glazed. It's going to finish it off a little bit more spring onion and those wonderfully toasted sesame seeds there. And then we'll plate this dish up. Mm. Looking really good, this fried rice, actually, Mike. No, thank you. Ta taught from the master. Did, <laughs> did well with this. So get the fried rice on there. And then pop some salmon on top. Oh. Put two pieces on because you guys are hungry. Yep. Yeah, always hungry. And what'd you garnish it with? One of those seeds, sesame seeds. Oh, sesame seeds. Toasted sesame Beautifully seeds. Beautifully toasted sesame seeds. There you go. Ta da! Oh, Look at that. That is the best looking fried rice I've ever seen. Thank you, Mel. I'm really proud of that. No, you Good did work. well. Thank you. Good job. Okay, what are you doing for us on, uh, <laughs> tomorrow? <laughs> well, I've got the perfect summer dish. We've got roasted peaches and homemade custard. <gasps> I love sweet food. You know that. That sounds delicious. <laughs>